What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, back with another quick video taking a look at the changes that the fifth beta of iOS 9 brings. Now the biggest visual change for this beta are all new wallpapers. So the wallpaper that iOS 9 was launched with is completely gone. Instead, we have a whole new set of wallpapers to take advantage of the retina display. They're a little more vivid with deeper contrast. There's a little more black space in these wallpapers. Most of the previous wallpapers have been completely eliminated. So the new default wallpaper is kind of a blue sandscape. I think it looks pretty nice, although I'm kind of partial to the wave pattern just because it was a little more colorful. Of course, we have others to pick from. We have three feather themes. We have some nature themes. We also have some planets, Mars, Jupiter, and Neptune. We have some color starburst patterns, some flowers, some of them we've seen before. And that's about it. In terms of the dynamic perspective wallpapers or the dynamic wallpapers, those are unchanged. Once again, the keyboard has been tweaked. This time, the shift key and the backspace key have been updated, so they're no longer filled in, they're just outlined. Of course, that changes when you tap on the keys. Wi-Fi calling has also been added for AT&T customers under settings. If you go to settings under phone, you'll see it there. Uh, so you can enable Wi-Fi calling, but right now the service is not yet available through AT&T, but you can expect it to come pretty soon. The Apple Music app has also been tweaked. So if you go to My Music, at the very top, you'll see Shuffle All. So I think this is a feature a lot of people have been missing, so we finally have it with the latest beta. CarPlay has also been updated. Unfortunately, this is a feature I cannot demonstrate here, so I'm going to refer to 9to5Mac, which does a really good job covering this. Uh, but uh, CarPlay has been updated with some larger artwork, a new now playing screen with some new design tweaks. The now playing screen also has the favorite icon, which we're familiar with from the Apple Music app, so that's all now been integrated here with the latest beta. We also get some new app splash screens when you first launch the apps after a clean install or an update. So for example, if you go to the Notes app, you can see a description of what this app does. If you open the Cal Calendar app, it tells you that the calendar is actually peeking into your email to check for reservation or flight times, and it'll add it to your calendar. The calendar can also use Apple Maps to look up locations and traffic conditions to tell you when it's time to leave. Digging through our cellular settings at the very bottom, we'll find the other tweak here, which is Wi-Fi Assist, which you can turn on and off. But basically, this will automatically use your cellular data when your Wi-Fi connectivity is poor. So even if you're connected to Wi-Fi, it can still tap into your cellular network to improve performance. Another setting that has been tweaked is found under Handoff and Suggested Apps. So instead of having the option to enable suggested apps from the App Store on the lock screen, that has been removed. Instead, we only have installed app suggestions. So these will only be suggestions based on what you already have installed on your phone. They've also made some tweaks to Siri suggestions. So if you tap on a contact under Siri suggestions, you can see we get these updated icons, which no longer include the text below them. There's another small tweak under keyboard settings, so shortcuts have been renamed to text replacement. Now, if you're not familiar with text replacement, this basically allows you to type out phrases and you can use shortcuts to quickly add them to text. So for example, if I like to say, what's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, uh, in my emails frequently, I could enter that phrase and use a shortcut like DB instead. So if I go to type that out, all I have to do is type DB and it adds it automatically to my text. We also get another small tweak under settings and general. You can see toward the bottom, we now have this regulatory section, which used to be hidden under legal. So this is basically all the regulatory seals for iOS devices. There's also been a slight tweak to the Wi-Fi animation. So if you turn off Wi-Fi and now it fades to gray before it disappears, instead of the bars disappearing one by one. All right, guys, so as promised, those are all these small changes for the fifth beta. And as more releases come out, I'll keep you updated. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.